Hi guys, today we are going to install the Wambam, uh, the Wambam Flex system on the Creality, uh, Creality uh, CR10 Max. Let's, I didn't try that before, so this will be a first. Let's do it. So, the one ball thingy, it's in here, so let's see what we have. So, we have some nice stickers that we, go, we are going to use it sometime later. We have the instructions and the actual kit to install it. First things first, let's prepare, let's prepare the, the printer to install, to install the things. We need to remove the original, the original plate first. To remove it, this one goes out, this one goes out, and you are taking it outside. Okay, this is the this is the old plate. We are putting it. Now, uh, what uh, from what I read in the instruction, we need to clean this thing uh, pretty uh, pretty good. So. Alcohol and we need a cloth. So play it good and let's clean it up. We need, we need to remove all the dust and there is a lot of dust in here okay that's it for now we need to get the bed in the front so I'm gonna start a little bit the printer to move to move the bed outside uh, to um, outside uh, the nozzle so we have uh, a lot of place to work oops And I'm gonna put the power. I'm going to power it off because we don't need it. Okay, printer is stopped. So now we have the magnetic, the magnetic sheet. The magnetic sheet is this one. That. Then this will be mounted like this. It in the end it will it will be like this. On top of it, it will come the steel sheet, which is this one. See? Oops, that wasn't. So You see, you have a lot of adhesion there, so we can, well, I'm going to put this away for a bit and uh, we should focus on getting this, this one mounted. Okay, 
this shows um, like this. Okay. We are, we are going to remove first the, prote the protective layer in, in order to, to stick it on the, on the bed. I'm going to do it first like this, like four or five centimeters, in order to be able to align it with the back of the printer bed. And And when you push it, you push it from inside, from the middle to outside, in order not to get air bubbles in there. Okay, it's it's stuck pretty pretty good. And now I'm going to get another ten centimeters. This is perfectly aligned. And you can put this, I don't know uh, if, I, I, if I will remove this or not. We'll see, we'll see about it later. The second part is to get the patient on top of the, on top of this. I'm gonna put it, uh, put it here. And we have this pay sheet, very nice thing. Eh? First, we need to clean this. The same way we did with the build plate. We apply some alcohol and rub it pretty, pretty good. That should, be, that should do it. And the same way, from behind to front.
where line it is to the back And we are carefully from the middle to the sides. Sorry about the noises, they are not quite nice, but anyway, we need it to be as good as we can. In a way, it's quite the similar process when you put on your protection on your iPhone or Android, if you prefer it. Take your time and do it slowly because if you otherwise you might get air bubbles inside and you don't, definitely don't want that.
So, this is it. Let's put it on the printer. Solid as a rock. And if you want to take it out, you are just this and you take it out. And this clamps can can come over here just like this and that's it. Oh I put it wrong. Wow, nice. So I need to be ready. Okay, that's better. So, that's it guys. This is how you install Bomb Bomb on Creality 10 Max. Thanks. And of course, I forgot to do one thing. This has a protected, uh, protected uh, sheet on top of it, so we need to remove that before we start actually printing. I did, uh, I did that, uh, I tried to, to print it with this on top and doesn't, the, the PLA doesn't stick at all. So, what you do is take, take this and peel it out all the way. And you throw that the way. And this is nice and shiny. Okay, Wambam, Wambam recommends to clean the to clean to clean it after you remove remove that protective sheet, but I will try it without it. In the next video, you will see the result.